Do you find yourself scrolling on social media, looking at nails while yours is looking dusty? Do you have a gel nail drying machine? Do you even know how to do acrylic? Or are you major, major clumsy? Why are you still scrolling? Don't you have a pack of nails and regular nail polish at the mother trucking house? Welcome to my channel. All right, so let's jump right into it. So we got our pack of nails, a nail clipper, that's a toe clipper, two nail files, and also a nail glue. The nail glue that came with the pack, honey, dried up. But of course, they put no refunds on the thing. So, you know, it is what it is at this point. So we're going to clip our nails both sides. And of course, this is optional. This is only if you have long nails and you want to have shorties, which is basically what I'm doing today. Then I'm gonna buff the bottom of the ends of the nails with the smaller nail file, just because I don't want raggedy nails underneath the new nails I'm putting on. You got what I'm saying? After that, I'm gonna measure each fake nail on my nail just to see which fits. All right, once that's over, we're going to take that smaller nail file once again and buff over top of each of the nails. That way it has a good grip for the glue and the nail. You'll see what I'm talking about. Next, I'm gonna take that clear nail or any type of nail or something or a cuticle pusher if you happen to have that and just push back my cuticles on each of the nails and this is optional you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I do it just because it gives off a more natural look Alrighty, so now we're gonna actually glue on the nail. I'm gonna place a drop of nail glue on the artificial nail, then a drop of nail glue on my actual nail. And when placing it down, I like to just tap it a bit and then run the top of the nail where the cuticle portion is supposed to be at, run that over top of the glue and then I'm gonna shove it in the cuticle and press down at the same time if that makes sense well i mean you you're seeing it right now <laughs> but i hold that down for 10 seconds um or probably even less honestly but i do that for my all of my fingernails I'm gonna be 
then we're gonna cut these nails down because like I said earlier I'm doing some shorties so I'm cutting them down and I'm filing the heck out of them with the larger nail file Also, what I notice is the shorter the nails are, it seems like the longer they stay on. When I make them this short, they last two weeks, if not three. And that's real stuff. All right, now we're on to the painting. So today I decided to do French tip, and this is gonna be the easiest French tip you will ever see. All you do is when you're painting, you try to stay your hardest, stand still, stand still. Child, that is hard to do. To keep your hands still, like both of them, real steady. And while you're painting it, you actually move your finger across not the hand that's actually painting. And boom, just like that, you're done. Now you have a fresh set of nails that you can do all the time, anytime, because you got a pack of nails. Now, if you want to go and get some regular Sally Hansen nails or Kiss nails or Dollar Tree nails, whatever nails, do the same thing. And I'm telling you, it will perfection each time. Well, perfect to have a quick perfect you can get it. I don't know how to say all that. I hope you enjoyed and best believe more nail art is coming soon, especially for the easy peasy basic girlies out there. So just stay tuned. Boy. Catch you later.